had a small farm out in the country, and as anyone in Ireland will tell you, strange things are known to happen at twilight. Out in the back of beyond, strange and eerie things, the like of which you wouldn't be able to explain. When I was 10 years of age, myself and my little sister, Mary, were out playing in the fields, out of the watchful eye of our parents. We would always be up to some devilment or other. On this particular day, we strayed out further into the wilds than we had before. It was late in the afternoon and twilight was fast approaching. We were playing a game of hide and seek, running back and forth between the ditches and the trees. My sister was hiding in the tall grass and I was trudging through it on my hands and knees, searching for her. All of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I spotted a black shape lurking in the ditch. At first, I couldn't make out what it was, but when I took a closer look, it seemed to be some kind of canvas material. The only way I can describe it is that it looked like a sake of old bones slumped in the ditch. Just then, the wind started to blow and I heard a faint sound carried on the breeze. I stopped in my tracks and listened intently. It sounded like a sort of wailing, very faint and very distant. The noise was somehow unnerving and it filled me with a strange sense of fear and foreboding. I crouched there listening for a while until I noticed some movement in the tall grass to the left of me. The black shape I had seen was now creeping slowly through the grass, coming towards me. As it got closer, the eerie wheeling became louder and louder. I stood there, mouth open in terror, watching this ominous bundle of rocks coming slinking towards me. The black shape looked like some sort of tattered rope which was torn and stained with something that resembled blood. I almost jumped out of my skin. My heart began pounding so hard I thought it might leap out of my mouth. Sweat was pouring off of me and I could hear the blood pumping in my ears. Standing bolt upright, I called out to my sister. Mary, I shouted, run home to mommy. My sister must have heard the fear in my voice because I saw her head appear over the grass. Now, married, I shouted. I didn't need to tell her again. She took off through the fields, running back towards our house. I took off running too, but there was a barbed wire fence up ahead. I looked to my left and saw the black bundle speeding up. It seemed to be trying to overtake me and cut off my only route of escape. I ran like the wind. I ran as fast as I could and the thing still kept pace with me. Fear was creeping up in my spine like a sack of full of spiders. As it came closer and closer, I reached the fence and with a desperate effort, I leaped over it. The bundle of rocks rose from the ground and emitted a blood-curdling shrike. In a panic, I realized I had become snagged on the barbed wire. When I chanced to look back over my shoulder, I caught sight of the hideous face of an old woman poking her nose out through the tall grass, tall and thin, pale and hollow. She looked, with long white hair flowing out from under the hood. She was like a thing that hovered between life and death. For a moment, our eyes met and she pointed at me with her long skeletal finger. Then she let out a piercing scream that defined me. Trembling with fear, I ripped my clothing free of the barbed wire and I kept running towards home. When I reached the back garden, I collapsed in the bushes and caught my breath. I lay there in the dirt, panting and sweating like a scalded dog and starting at the blood stains on my hands. It was then I realized what I had just seen. It was the Banshee. The messenger of death. It was warning of impending doom. Stumbling to my feet, I eventually managed to find the strength to get through the back door. I found my little sister standing in the kitchen. She was deathly silent and there were tears in her eyes. Our mother was lying down on the floor. This is your first time here and you want to watch true ghost encounter stories. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. 
so you can be notified when we upload a new video.